Hey guys, welcome to Math Challenge. Let's get right to it. So a lot of you guys in school probably learned that in an addition equation to write your answer on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So for example, you may have tried something like five plus three equals eight and quickly realized that something wasn't working. So in this problem, Let's take a look at the equal signs here. There's two equal signs that bind the equation together, which means that it creates three groups. So this is the first group. This is the second group. And this is your third group. So in this problem, we wanna make sure that the answer for group one equals group two and also group three. Now let's talk about the hint and the overall idea first. So if you add all the numbers from one through eight up, we know that the total is equal to 36. Because we separated them out into three groups, we can also then say that group one added to group two added to group three also equals 36. That means that we can take the 36 and divide it by three to get 12. We now know that each group's total must equal 12. Now let's look at it from a second grader's perspective. A quick tip to remember here is you can always uh, add it from outside to in when you're adding numbers in consecutive order. What I mean by that is that eight and the two can be grouped together to make a 10. The seven and the three make another 10. Six and the four make another 10. We have a five plus one left, which gives us a six. And that can also be separated out into three groups of two. So by adding the, the 10 and the two together, we know that each group sum must equal 12. From there, the answer is pretty straightforward. Seven and five gives us 12, eight, three, and one, and six, four, and two. Comment below if you found another answer to this problem. Stay tuned for the joke of the day coming right up. And please hit the like button if you enjoyed this math problem. And don't forget to hit smash the subscribe button so it'll motivate me to make more videos for you guys. Thanks so much and see you next time.